Hello, my name is Ajibwe Isaac and today we'll be discussing indices, an aspect of mathematics. So our subject is mathematics and the topic is indices. This is continuation to the previous lesson had on indices where we defined indices we already had, we had already defined indices with examples we had also stated the multiplication law of indices in this lesson today we will be looking at the division law of indices and then we will now apply this law to simplify system of indices again at the end of this lesson our learning objectives is that learners should be able to state division law of indices and also apply the laws this division law of indices to simplification of system of indices for example 6 a raised to power minus 1 divided by 3 a all raised to power 2 our reference material is a new general mathematics JSS2 by A.O. Kalejae, and we are on chapter 2, page 11. Key vocabulary words. Some of the key vocabulary words to look at for in this lesson are 1. Index number. An index number is any number in the form 3 with 2 on top. It is superscript 2 and it is read as 3 raised to power 2 where 3 is called the base and 2 is the power and the power is also known as the index so we have 3 raised to power 2 is an example of index number indices indices is the plural form of index that is two or more index numbers is called indices laws of indices the laws of indices are rules to be employed when dealing with system of indices again the laws of indices are rules to be employed when dealing with system of indices especially when you are multiplying indices when you are dividing indices how do we multiply two index numbers and so on so division law of indices status does a raised to power x divided by a raised to power y divided by a raised to power z is equal to a raised to power x minus y minus z if you observe from there we have on the on the left hand side we have index numbers or system of indices with the same base they all have base A. A raised to the power x. That's base A raised to the power of x. Base A raised to the power of y. And base A raised to the power of z. And in between them, you have division sign. So the law says if you have such a situation, you pick only one base. And then you subtract all the powers. That is, you have base A raised to the power of x minus y minus z note another sign that is used to replace division sign is over the over line for example a divided by b is equal to a over b also c divided by d divided by e divided by f is also equal to c over d times e times f that interpretation of division sign is very important because we'll make use of it in our examples. Solved examples. Example 1. Evaluate p raised to power 8 divided by p raised to power 6. p raised to power 8 is an index number and we are dividing by another index number p raised to power 6. So the law says that we'll pick only one base p and then we'll subtract the power. 8 minus 6 <clears throat> which will be equals to p raised to power 2 so p raised to power 8 divided by p raised to power 6 is equal to p raised to power 8 
minus 6, which is equal to p raised to power 2. Example 2. Simplify. 12a raised to power 7 divided by 3a raised to power 2. You notice that the 12 and the 3 are not entirely index numbers in a particular base. Okay? So, we'll treat them as numbers as usual. And then treat the index numbers a raised to power 7 and a raised to power 2 with the laws of indices. Therefore, solution 12a raised to power 7 divided by 3a raised to power 2 will be equal to 12 over 3 a raised to power 7 minus 2. 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 7 minus 2 is 5. So our final answer will be 4a raised to power 5. Solve the example 3. Simplify 84x raised to power 5 and a half divided by 2 raised to power 2 divided by 3 raised to power 3x divided by 7x raised to power 1 and a half. It is important that I state here that any number that is written or alphabet that is written can be expressed as an index number when you raise it to the power of 1. So, meaning that the x that I have there can as well be written as x raised to power 1. The 2 that I have there can as well be interpreted as 2 raised to power 1. So, therefore, solution 84 x raised to power 5 and a half divided by 2 x raised to power 2 divided by 3 x divided by 7 x raised to power 1 and a half can be interpreted as 84x 5 raised to power 5 and a half all over 2x raised to power 2 times 3x times 7x raised to power 1 and a half. So you will notice that the 84, the 2, the 3, the 7 are no index numbers. So we treat them as regular numbers. And then the x, all the x are index numbers. So we treat those ones, we bring them together and apply the laws of indices. So therefore, we would have 84 divided by 2 times 3 times 7. And then x raised to power 5 and a half minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 and a half. So, if you are familiar with directed numbers, 5 and a half minus 2 will be 3 and a half. Then 3 and a half minus 1 will be 2 and a half. And 2 and a half minus 1 and a half will give us 1. So therefore, you can also interpret it as 2x raised to the power 5 and a half minus 4 and a half. I beg your pardon there. It's supposed to be one and a half, four and a half, I mean. So when you do five and a half minus four and a half, you get two X. So these are the soft example. Evaluation. Classwork. Please. This classwork is taken from the new general mathematics GSS2 exercise 2C, page 13. You will see this in number in one of the numbers there and then i want you to attempt the classwork take a snapshot of your attempt and forward your picture to my whatsapp number also do the same for the assignment the assignment is due for submission first thing tomorrow morning why the classwork should be done right now you have 10 minutes for the classwork snap the class the attempt of the classwork with a clear picture and camera and forward your attempt to my whatsapp number not on the group don't put it don't send it to the group send it to my whatsapp number private chat okay i want to commend the effort of those that have done their assignment their classwork and their assignment in the previous lesson you're doing very well keep it up thank you for listening